We are getting ready to launch your home on the market. In advance of launching your home on the market, it's really important that you help us complete a couple of required seller disclosures. You're gonna be receiving these two forms from us, the seller property questionnaire and the transfer disclosure statement. In this quick video, I'm gonna guide you through how to complete these forms and why they're required in the first place. So the first form we're gonna talk about is the seller property questionnaire, also called the SPQ. This form helps sellers disclose information about the property's condition that could affect the buyer's decision to buy. We have to, as a part of California law, provide this to the buyer within seven days of acceptance of the offer. Basically, this form is gonna help trigger your memory about the property, and you need to disclose information about the property that would be really pertinent to the buyer. And really, the most important part of this is that it's important that you disclose things in advance so that there is no misunderstanding with the buyer or future claims or lawsuits uh, that the buyer alleges that you maybe misrepresented the property or intentionally failed to disclose material facts that may be considered fraud after close of escrow. The second form you're gonna be completing is the transfer disclosure statement, also called the TDS. This form is also important. You're, you're meant to disclose material information about the property and really it relates to defects or other material items that might affect the value or the desirability of the property. Let's go and really quickly outline how you technically will complete these forms. So on the SPQ, on this questionnaire, you're gonna be going through a variety of sections and you're gonna be answering either yes or no to these questions. In the event you answer yes to any of these questions, you're gonna to want to ensure you elaborate briefly in the area designated below. So you're gonna be talking about things like repairs or alterations, structural defects, any insurance claims, water-related or mold issues, if there's pests or pets on the property, um, if there are any easements, do you have landscaping, pool and spa, are you in a condominium? Are there any liens or ownership issues with the property? Anytime you answer yes, remember to elaborate. And when you're filling out these forms, it's very easy to glaze over all the boxes. So do a double take and make sure you've checked every box. Otherwise, we'll have to send it back to you for signature again. The TDS is really more of a questionnaire about the technical features of your home, such as, is there a garbage disposal? Is the garage attached or not attached? How is the water supplied? Um, is there a sump pump or a septic tank? And then you talk about some of the other features of the property, such as, has there been any hazardous substances released into the home? Are there any structural improvements that were not permitted? Any encroachments or any lawsuits on the property? It's a very quick disclosure, but really critical that is completed in its entirety. So I know that completing these forms can feel like a daunting task, but it's really critical not only for the buyers to understand the history of your property, but also for me as your agent to really have an understanding of what's happened here because I'm going to be selling your home and as I sell it, it's really important that I know all pertinent facts as well. I know that these forms can feel tedious, but they are critical and required by law. I appreciate your cooperation in handling these quickly and let me know if you have any questions.